citizens of Celesteville. Oh, oh, poor Isabel. She's still not feeling well. Oh, I'll go. Thank you, dear. Oh. oh now, where are my slippers? Oh, there they are. Isabel? Babar? Citizens of Celesteville. Oh, Babar. say I slept very, very well. How about you, dear? I was up most of the night with Isabel, remember? Oh, I'm so sorry, Celeste. I guess I fell right back to sleep. Yes, you sure did. I'll tell you what. To make up for it, I'll go look after the children's breakfast while you sleep. Thank you, dear. Oh, you deserve it. Oh, I know. I took the other day, Father. These are very good, Flora. I think you show a great deal of talent. Thank you, Father. I've decided that's what I'm going to be when I grow up. A newspaper picture taker photographer lady. You mean a photojournalist? Yeah, that sounds even better. Well, why wait until you grow up? Why not start now? <laughs> I'm too little to work at the newspaper. But we have a printing press right here in the palace. Why not start your own newspaper? Yeah! I could be the photojournalist and the editor. And I could be the reporter. Yeah! And I could be... What could I be? You could be the paper boy. Paper boy? Great! We can call it the Celesteville Inquirer. And we can do any kind of story we want. Right, Father? It's your newspaper. You can do whatever you like. Yeah, and if we can't find out any news, we can just make it up. Oh, no, no, you can't do that, Alexander. As journalists, you will have a responsibility to report the news as it actually happened, because people have a right to know the truth. Well, what are we waiting for? News is happening every second. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Photojournalist. Camera loaded and ready to shoot the news as it happens. Reporter? Reporter, typewriter loaded and ready to write the news as it happens. Thank you, reporter. Paperboy? Paperboy? <gasps> Alexander? Yes, paperboy. Arms loaded with paper and ready for the news as it happens. Thank you, paperboy. Whenever it happens, wherever it happens. Thank you, paperboy. However it happens, whoever it happens to. Thank you. Whatever happens, whether it happens or not, it's not happening. We must be doing something wrong. Yeah, we're not doing anything at all. I think that's our problem, Alexander. We can't just sit here and wait. We have to go out and dig up a real news story, just like the real reporters from the Chronicle. 
See? <laughs> attention! Your attention, everyone! King Baba's annual throne speech will proceed as scheduled on Friday morning. Thrilling. Very good, Cornelius. <clears throat> there will be a ribbon cutting ceremony to celebrate the opening of the new ribbon factory. Care to uh, elaborate on that? Yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah, there will be. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, there will be uh, sandwiches. Oh, jolly good. Sandwiches? What kind of uh, sandwiches would uh, those be? White bread or brown? Uh, 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 well, yeah, well I, uh, uh, no more questions. Uh, that's it for today, gentlemen. The troubadour. Real news sounds pretty boring to me. Yeah, it's gonna be impossible to make our newspaper interesting. Nothing ever happens around here. Wait a minute. We don't have to do stories about ribbons and throne speeches. Look at all the material we have right here. See, that's not boring, is it? <laughs> no, it's silly. <laughs> They're all silly. But who wants to look at pictures of the royal family being silly? Everybody! Admiral Cornelius has His Majesty's battleships on full alert. Standing by for imminent attack. The destroyers arranged in a circle, circumnavigating, so to speak, prepared to respond immediately to enemy action from any direction. Except... Could it be? Do you see that, Captain? Does it look like? Could it be a submarine? <laughs> Cornelius toys with the Royal Navy. Ah, Troubadour, is it time for lunch already? Two selections? Peanut butter with jelly, mm, one of my favorites. Or peanut butter without jelly, also one of my favorites. Hmm. There's only one thing to do, Troubadour. Pompadour makes another difficult decision. I know you're not feeling well, Isabel, dear, but you must have something to eat. <laughs> no! <laughs> A new look for Queen Celeste? Dear citizens of Celesteville. No, 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 no. No? Well, how about... Dearest citizens of Celesteville. No, that doesn't seem enough. No, no, no. This will never do. Never, never, never. King Babar takes a short break. Oh, oh, there's nothing like a warm bath to make you feel like a brand new pachyderm. Pompadour! What's wrong? This! Celesteville Inquirer? The inside story on palace life? <laughs> isn't that cute? <laughs> but isn't that... But how... Who... What... When... Where... Why... 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 Your, Your Majesty! Majesty! Good night, dear. I've got to sort this problem out. Cornelius and Pompadour are very upset about those pictures that Flora is planning to print in her newspaper. I guess I'll sleep on it. Oh. 
I love those royal box of shorts you made for me, but I don't want the entire kingdom to see them. Oh, Babar, I'll bet you look cute. Hmm. I could simply forbid Flora to publish the pictures. But this whole newspaper business was my idea, after all. And I did tell Flora that the people have the right to know the truth. Flora's a good girl, and she cares very much about everyone in the palace. She's very sensible, Babar. Maybe you should trust her judgment. You know, Celeste, I think I'm just going to let Flora make her own decision about this. She'll do the right thing. I'll speak to her in the morning. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Good night. Flora, you're a good girl. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. You would never knowingly hurt or embarrass anyone because you're a very uh, loving and affectionate girl. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Now, about these photographs. By publishing your uh, little newspaper, there is much of value that you can learn about the uh, importance of a free press to a free society. And you will learn, because you are a bright and talented girl. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Now, about these photographs. Uh, as editor, you will have some very difficult decisions to make. You must decide what constitutes a fair and accurate representation of the truth. Oh, I know. You know? Oh, that's good, Flora. That's very good. Because about these... Uh, well, I know I can trust you to make the proper decision. Because, well, I trust you. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Because about, well, I know you'll do the right thing. Oh, I will. I promise. Thank you, Flora. You're welcome, Father. So what are you going to do, Flora? The right thing. Baba would never allow Flora to publish those pictures. It would be deadly for the king's public image. I mean, I was in the bathtub, Pompadour, with my toy boats and my... my ducky. My sentiments exactly, Cornelius. It would be very dangerous to undermine the people's confidence in their king. But at least you weren't made to look as silly as I was. The people will think I have no, no table manners. No, 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 Pompadour. You can't possibly think you look sillier than I did. Oh, yes, yes. I looked much sillier. No, no, I looked much sillier. Yes, I did. Much I did. sillier than you ever did. I was sillier than you. Of course I did. Yes, I did. No, no, I looked much I sillier. sillier much sillier than you ever did. I of course I did. Sillier. Cornelius, Pompadour, your worries are over. Thank heavens! You forbade Flora to publish the pictures? No, I would never do that. I've decided to let Flora make her own decisions. She'll publish the pictures! She'll do an expose! No, no, no. She would never do an expose. Oh, yes, she would, sire. She'll do an expose on the secret life inside the palace. No, no, no. Oh, yes, yes. No, no, no. She would never do an expose. Obviously, you're underestimating my influence as a father. Expose. The secret life inside the palace. See it all in the Celestial Inquirer tomorrow morning. On second thought, you do look sillier, Cornelius. Much sillier. Oh, we're ruined. It couldn't be worse, Pompadour. It couldn't be worse. Oh, yes, it could, Cornelius. I see that you've decided to publish these pictures after all. Yes, Father. I decided it was the right thing to do. You did say the people have the right to know the truth. Yes, Flora, but... And these pictures are the truth. These things really happened. Yes, but... You said it was up to me to make the decision. But... If you want to punish me, you can, but I've already made my decision. Flora's really going to get it this time. Yeah, maybe I can finally have a room. I'm not going to punish you, Flora. It's still your decision. 
I just want you to think about one thing. Do your pictures show the whole truth about life in the palace? Or have you left something out? What does he mean? We haven't left anything out. What more could there be? Well, we have to get the floor plans done. Oh, but I think if we, we put in a wooden floor up to here... And I'll take care of that. It's awfully late for people to be up. Then we must get bricks. You go oh, a window, definitely. Yes, yes, and the door. But we haven't decided on the color. Uh, then, of course, the wall joists would be able to fit in here. Just another hour or so, Troubadour, and we can all get some sleep. If we get these plans finished tonight, then we can start building the shelter for the homeless tomorrow morning. And not a moment too soon for those poor jungle elephants. Right, Troubadour? Troubadour? On the occasion of my anniversary as king, I would like to thank you, the citizens of Celesteville. It has been only through your hard work and sacrifice that we have been able to build this great city. Not only the palace, but the school and hospital, the library and the museum. Words are not enough for me to express my gratitude and my love. Words could never be enough. By any chance, good news? I might as well be the first to examine it. I'm sure I'm the one who looks the silliest. Oh, my. My, my, my. Is it that bad, Cornelius? My, my, my goodness. That's a lovely shot of me. Why, I look positively dignified. You, you look dignified too, Pompadour. You're not quite as dignified. And King Babar and Queen Celeste. Oh, Babar, isn't it lovely? It certainly is. The children did a wonderful job. See, Pompadour, the silly pictures are still there, but they're more than balanced out by these dignified pictures. Yes. In fact, I think this gives everyone a look at both sides of palace life. <laughs> exactly. The silly and the dignified. Yes, but I do think I look a little more dignified than you. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Troubadour, I thought you meant it was bad news. You were just teasing, weren't you? How do you like it? <laughs> we're so proud of all of you. Thank you, Flora. It couldn't be better. Well, I finally figured it out that there's two sides to every story. And that there's more to life in the palace than just being silly. And that printer's ink is very hard to wash out. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons well learned, I dare say. Troubadour, give the children a hug. Where are you going? We've got work to do. Our next story. Bye. 
Baba, what do they mean their next story? What story do they mean? I have no idea. They're not going to do another expose. No, I'm sure they wouldn't. It's going to be a scoop. A big, big scoop. Scoop? What's she talking about, sire? What does she mean, a scoop? I don't know. I... She said a big scoop. A big, big scoop. We have reputations to think about, sire. Maybe she's just kidding. Maybe it's just a little joke. I don't think it's funny. Not funny at all. 